Okay, so here I am with Cassie, and I do apologize, I'm losing my voice. Um, but this is the first time I introduced Cassie to a training collar. Um, she was brought to me because her family literally could not walk her down the street. Um, when she's in a harness, she pulls incredibly hard in all different directions. Um, flat buckle collar, same problem. So we introduced her to a training collar, started introducing, you know, gentle pressure and release. You'll see me changing directions a ton. That's teaching her, follow me, turn the pressure off. You'll walk with a loose leash. You know, when I stop, you sit, turns the pressure off. You'll walk at any pace that I'm going. If you start to move ahead, you'll feel a little bit of pressure, um, some gentle release, and she's back by my side. Uh, Cassie came to me extremely anxious. As soon as her owner left, she was panting, pacing, whining, um, just frantic all around my living room. So we really got right into the walk, which did help with a lot of her anxiety. Um, so it's very important that her owners keep up with the structured walk because it's you know good for her overall state of mind, keeping her anxiety level low, keeping her arousal level low. Um, but I know they're going to keep up. So this is going to be really good for them and they're actually going to be able to take her on walks now which is really exciting so and you watch me here i am notice i'm changing directions a ton it's really good a way to keep her engaged with me stopping and having her sit another great way and just teaching her like what's acceptable what's not acceptable um and basically the rules of a structured walk and that's what you're seeing me do and she did really 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 well for the first time